So once again, Lucas, we return. What colour do you want to be? Do you want to be Legendary Black Falcon, Dark Blood, or should we just try Tight 20? It's the one we've not Let's yet. go for Vomit Camo, Carl. Vomit Camo, yeah, baby shit brand. I don't want to play like the end of the game with Vomit Camo, so no, we'll let's go play a bit it. now. Ugh, captive Goddess. So we have to go fight the Statue of Liberty. Spoilers, let's go. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit pissed after last time, so I'm going to be <laughs> just dominating every enemy we come across now. So Alexei's Transformer Statue of Liberty, his own twisted base of operations. Basically, he's taken control over the Statue of Liberty, and we have to go fight it. I was going to say, we're oh, halfway God. through this mission, and we, dear God, that's an awful colour. It's already, already Lucas, off to a strong start. <laughs> oh, God. So who wants some? That is vomit camo right That's there. That's great, isn't it? What's he got? What you got for me? Jewel the Demon Seal. I'll remember that. That powers up your Nimpo. So oh, I'll wait okay. till we get a couple of those. Actually, to be fair, we've not used any of the other Nimpos yet. Because I start with them all. So we have Art of the Inferno. Art mm -hmm. of the Wind Blades. Art of the Piercing Void. Art of the Flame Phoenix. They're the four Nimpos. Uh, uh, Piercing Void is a um, Shinsho Ryukan. Just a beam of energy that you aim. It's very powerful. Because um, that was the one that you, like, used... In an attempt to get through the bullshit last time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a very powerful one. Uh, out of the wind blades, they get off me attack. It's just an area mm -hmm. effect. Useful against mob enemies, not so much useful against anything else. Out of the inferno is kind of a combination between both. It yep. hits everything around you, and you launch a big fireball as area effect. That's out the one we've like, been using to start, yeah. yeah. Out of the flame phoenix puts phoenixes around you. That protects you from damage for a short period of time. They can, they're useful in combos. And for fighting bosses, because bosses are immune to almost all impos, except for big yeah, bosses. Yeah, so I was going to say, I would say, like, I one of the bottom two, the Void or the Phoenix, because it seems like they're going to be more useful for bosses than anything else. Let's go then. Let's go for Art of the Phoenix, and let's upgrade it. Why not? How do I upgrade it? Oh, no, I've got to use my Jewel the Demon Seal, so. Uh, Jewel the Demon Seal. Do you mean Pierce and Void you're going to do with yeah. Phoenix? If you look Pierce as well. Void. You said Phoenix and then half the <coughs> Pierce and Void. Oh, Art, like, of the, uh, Art of the Piercing Phoenix. <laughs> I'm surprised that's a move Ryu has. So, already fighting these enemies while being attacked by um, giant flaming monsters. Immediate. Just no, there's no mercy. Off. You know what? Let's show it off. So, it's an instant kill to all enemies. Oh, cool. And it can just go through an entire mob. Yeah, if you can get them all lined up, you can kill all of them. Which is oh. obviously pretty hard. Oh, God. Fuck's sake. No, he's got no arm. Fuck him. Oh god, I thought I'd lock onto that enemy. The camera! Yeah. The camera! Oh my god, no! Oh camera, my god, no, this camera! No. no! Look at it! Oh god, god. No, I'm Are not fighting them. Items? Why would I fight them? There's oh, no, no fun to be had. Yeah, yeah. But there's no yeah. fun to be had fighting those enemies, as you can there's probably no tell. There's no fun to be had fighting that camera. <laughs> there's not. Oh, for god's sake! No, I dropped down on purpose. Because now we're behind this, look. Oh, okay. I go to you the, need to uh, jump across. The, remember the Muramasa statue? Yeah. Thank you. And the first thing oh, I'm so doing is... Oh, so this is just a little seeker a bit. Yes. So I have max healing items. I'll buy one of these. Just It's a good healing item. And what I'm going to do is... I'm sorry. After that boss, I'm not dicking around. I don't blame you. Just do it. I will not use it for mob enemies because it's, it's too good. But for bosses, Eclipse like, After the last time of you just getting wailed on for half an hour... Because I don't really, really Carl. Has he basically just used Pierce and Void on you? Uh, no. Like that, that's what it looks like. I'll try and get them all in a row, though. Let's try and do this. Let's get a few of them in a row. They just hop around so much. So, here we go. Ah, you see. And yeah, what it does, just... it has uh, tendrils of electricity. And mm. the higher level it is, the bigger they are. And ah, the more they'll okay. impact. Oh, yeah, fuck him up. Just kill them all. No mercy. There we go. Yeah! Carl's getting back into it. Perfect. Because, uh, fun fact, like, I mean, I think it works out better for every game anyway, but yeah. this was kind of the main influence of us changing our, like, recording schedule a bit. Yeah, because we used to record um, for about two hours a week. Also, I'm going to turn your volume up, because we're still recording remotely. Lucas yeah, is, are, yeah. I'm talking to far away Lucas right now, but um, his volume on my Discord is very quiet. Compared to, like, the very loud Ninja Gaiden. The thumping techno from Ninja Gaiden. So. <laughs> How do I turn your volume up again? Uh, they've changed it around on Discord. Yeah. I was trying to find it yesterday and I couldn't find it. 
Because I'm in this call, but I can't see you. Where's your volume? Oh, God. Oh, it's tough. Video can... I know. God damn it. User settings. Voice and audio. Output volume. There we go. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. I made you a bit louder. Because we... Yeah, um, yeah. We originally were recording like two hours of each, we were, and then yeah. we were recording like two hours, say for example we record um, Breath of the Wild and Ninja Gaiden back to back, it'd be two mm -hmm. hours of Ninja Gaiden and two hours of Breath of the Wild. The problem with that is we then take a two week break and do the same thing for um, Resident Evil 4 and Yakuza the next week. Yep. Which you don't really want a two week gap for one a story based game like Yakuza or a game like this where not remembering how to play can result in you getting your ass kicked. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, but my uh, control like, was not vibrating. Hard enough as it is. My control was not vibrating, so I've also run out of battery, so for fuck's sake. Oh, God damn it, there so you go. can feel your control was not vibrating, so you know it's going to run out of battery. Yeah. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen in the middle of the match, so I'm going to run and go get some more battery. Damn it. Oh, I'm going Oh. Right. And here's us, Lucas, thinking we had this YouTube game figured out. <laughs> so, if you'll squeeze me, audience at home, yep, yeah, I hope that shows up. I'm to that. Luckily, I con I have just a set of rechargeable batteries. Yeah. And I'm constantly just always, one of them's always on charge, so there is always just a fully charged set of batteries in my house and my Xbox. So It's a good tip, yeah. It's a, it's a good system. You know what? Fuck it, because now we've got it. And these enemies are super annoying, and I don't want to waste. <laughs> I don't want to waste any healing items. Yeah, fair enough. I, Let's just like, oh, for fuck's sake! I always have that moment where um, it really scares me playing Destiny because there's no like pause or anything because it's an online game. So yeah. you're just in the middle of like a PVP match, and you feel your controller not vibrate anymore. And you go, well, "I'm gonna die." It's like, oh no. So already you can see that this thing's pretty tough because one swing will take a limb off, which means you can then obliterate in one shot. Oh my god. And this thing's pretty tough, but... Mm-hmm. Oh, he's, he's getting... Just one okay. swing. And also, as well, this thing gets powered up, which is just... Doof, 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 doof. Oh, my God. And I'm switching to it because there is a level boss coming up, and he's not going to be able to Oh, okay. Hmm, oh, I'll take some arrows. I'm not sure as well. Can you hear the music in this? Uh, not much. Because Ninja Gaiden's soundtrack doesn't really get a lot of play. But it's kind of it's kind of good. Are you this, not this is like, gonna heal yourself. I will. I'll just see if there's any items down there. So. Ah, okay. All the enemies are here. Fuck's sake. Ah, so, so you can't heal now. The annoying thing is these enemies aren't fun to fight because this is how you kill them. Mhm. Mm this is how they die. It's just there's no combos or anything. Nope. It's almost like putting an enemy in a character action. Oh fuck! I went straight to the level boss. Oh no, can't. I didn't realize oh, the level boss is here. Down. I thought it was at the other side. Well, no I've not saved the game, yeah. and I've got no health. <laughs> Ryu, you got some foot. Oh yeah, and you start with oh. and you start with the enemy swinging at you. Joe Lucas, does that feel fair? Totally fair. Like it, the animation begins of you just getting hit. We Dark Souls now. It's okay though because, oh for fuck's sake! Oh my god! Yeah, hit from off screen. It's great. Don't you love enemies that can hit you from off screen? Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I'm using this weapon for that. I presume he's only got one health bar, right? He only has one health bar, yes. Uh, he's in a mini boss. Oh, okay. You fight another version of it later in the game. Of course like, you do. And it's really good as well because the introduction to him is you're going through a building and outside you can just hear this constant, <laughs> like, huge lumbering footsteps. Just like the T Rex is on its way. Yeah, and it's just it's just him. That is one of my favourite uh, like oversights in um, a movie is like Jurassic Park. Yeah. It shows that you can hear a T Rex like walking about. And then, and then it sneaks you up get on. like Ninja T Rex later. It's great. But it, you kind of get away with it because yeah, that scene's awesome. Yeah, you you just completely forget about it. It's only when you keep like, you know, re watching that film over and over again that you really notice. So you saw then that my Nimpo attack does less damage than just the ultimate attack from yeah. <laughs> the thing. So they're not tough. So every boss now is just fodder for the Eclipse side. Because, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. 
I don't know. I reckon it's coming back. You do fight another one. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Because that didn't look like a definitive death. Brawl at the same time. Every other death in this game is Ryu dismembering like, every part of their body. There was also, as well, no real fanfare for that creature's introduction, because he's not the level boss. Mm -hmm. yeah. The level boss is coming up, and he's even worse. Yeah, Lucas, we've got to fight. over the fact that he's, like, 21. <laughs> that fight is, like, is so fucked up. Fight the Statue of Liberty, Lucas. Do it. Did you actually fight the statue? Yeah, I'm going to fight the Statue of Liberty. What's up? What? Yeah, it'd be great if you could shoot some of those missiles, love, but whatever. I guess I'll do it with my sword. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't have just made it like... Um, At the very um, least, though, it's nice enough to give you full health. Yeah. They could have just made it a commercial helicopter. Oh, fuck's sake. Not one strapped with missiles. Yeah. So, if you're wondering, Lucas, why I'm running inside, it's because those enemies <laughs> there. Because they do that constantly from off screen. So, let's just fight them in here. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God damn. And now I've got to fight the ninjas as well. <laughs> as if my life wasn't hard enough. Uh, I still think the Statue of Liberty just reminds me of X Men 1. Yeah, I still think. Oh, for fuck's sake. This camera! This oh. camera, man! This game's awesome, you should play it, but holy shit, this camera. <laughs> Right, finally, got rid of the big monsters. Let's switch to. Uh, fuck it, let's go for, like, you know. Reuse signature weapon. Yeah. The dragon sword. Like the trusty weapon. And there we have a secret mission over there, which we'll go do in a sec. But first, let's get some Nimpo, shall we? Let's do it. This is also the first. You get some more um, explosive shurikens. Okay. So we might as well switch to the explosive shurikens because there's unlimited. we get unlimited mount here, so. Fuck them up, oh, I ain't got any, so. Oh, you got zero. <laughs> oh, there we go. Because we're actually in a museum of um, stuff. It's like, oh yeah, here's some museum of ninja weapons. And it's just where you get like, explosive shurikens. So, like, Ryu, confirm thief. Well, to be fair, though, if you're doing it to save New York, yeah. he's doing it to protect his family, Lucas, that's not a crime. <laughs> this is now. So let's go out here. There you go, and now go fuck them all. Oh, they've despawned. Oh, okay. That was easy. But that's the thing. You can can you imagine how bullshit that fight is when you try to fight an enemy, and then from off screen you get hit by a flying enemy. Yeah. That you can't lock onto. Just those giant flying bats. Like, oh! This is also as well, um, where you find those dual katanas. They're in one uh, of these okay. display cases here for you. So I'm just gonna double check, make sure there's no more shit. Uh, some lore dump here, if you care. Ah, oh, it's the Xbox logo. <laughs> Look at it. That's awesome. It also makes the Xbox noise and gives you full health. It kind of makes me, like, a bit um, upset that that's, like, the original Xbox logo, but it makes the 360 startup noise. Yeah, whatever, I'm it's like, fine. Ugh. This game was on the Xbox 360, so okay. It was, so. yeah, yeah. This is another challenge room. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. I'm going to guess it's those bigger monsters. So um, what weapon should I use to defeat them? I mean, it's if, if it's the big monster, just go in there with the scythe and teach them what to work. I just don't want to go in there with a level 1 weapon, because a level 1 weapon's not really going to be that useful against them. So I believe it will just be these big things again, which aren't that tough to... Here we go. And of course, it starts with them all attacking you at the same time, because yeah. why would they not? And this is why the Eclipse Scythe is just the fucking dog's bollocks. Because oh, one God. swing. One swing. One swing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, you, you all die <laughs> you can now. You pull it off. You all die. It's time. Everything Come dies. On. This is Ryu Come time. On. Perfect. Like, teach him a fucking lesson. I hate that they can hit you from off screen now. Like, yeah. character action game, like, lesson number one is, if an enemy can hit you from off screen, it has to make an audio cue. These enemies do not do that. <laughs> like, even, my Bayonetta figured this out. And that's actually one yeah. way you can cheese the super boss. Because if you stand in a corner and position the camera so you can only see your character model, he won't hit you. Really? Yeah, Rodan won't kill you. Because he, can't, <laughs> he can only attack you if he can see him. Yeah. Because it'd be unfair otherwise. In Ninja Gaiden... Oh, that Ninja Gaiden did not want to party. You've already seen that. The, um, the enemy will attack you. Even when you're charging your ultimate attack. Yeah. So that's... Uh, 
Uh, thankfully, though, they at least don't put in the flying ones who shoot beams at you. Because oh, that would be infuriating. Because luckily, they save that for a later part of the game when you've got more oh, upgrades. No. To be fair, this is actually doing that good because it's not fully upgraded yet. So I'm going to switch to... Hmm. These have been upgraded, haven't they? I believe so, yeah. I want something that gives me a bit more um, attack speed. Yeah, yeah. I want to counter their attack power with speed. Perfect. Nimpo. No legs for you. <laughs> Ugh, get fucked. Right, I'm yeah, on a roll these now. Are instantly doing better. Well, the Eclipse Scythe is just for bosses and very specific enemies. Like, there's a, an enemy later in the game that just everything just hurts them. <laughs> I'm in. Ryu, it oh. begins. The maelstrom of Ryu. <laughs> oh my god. It's like Discord just can't keep up with it. Nothing can stop this. It's like it's just a flurry of swords. I love as well how we're recording this on Discord. People might think, oh man, that's a really bad solution. Discord is the best solution we've found. And so I far. saw this this great breakdown of it. It was just a tweet someone put out of, wow, Skype really fumbled the ball with a 17-year lead. <laughs> like, Skype has had 17 years to perfect, like, video calling online. And everyone has just gone to Discord. And what's the other one? Is it Zoom? Zoom, yeah. Those two well, services... Most people had never even heard of Zoom, and they still manage Use it to get over more Skype. people using it than Skype. Like, everyone that talks about Skype that knows half what they're talking about just says, yeah, Skype's awful. It's terrible. So this is actually one of the more fun ones, because at least they don't throw in flying enemies. Yeah, yeah. There's no, like... Bullshit snipers or anything. But later ones do do that though, because that's how you make difficulty. Don't make yeah, the enemies yeah, a challenge. In this, I appreciate that. Oh, there's a lot of a difficult enemy, but it's just this one thing to deal with. There we go. Get them both with a uh, explosive yeah, shuriken. Stun them. Get my fully oh, charged oh, oh, oh. up. Get some explosive shurikens in. Let's just there we go. Let's just clear out some of these enemies. Let's get some limbs knocked off. Perfect, give me that. There we go. Give him your arm. Give me that head. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ryu. I want him. Just this one. That's the one that has to die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these things are awesome, all of them. Ting, ting. Look how many hits that gets in. Hmm. Oh, love that. Let's get a few. Let's knock a few heads off. What a cool attack that is, isn't it? Like, he just throws, like, two at once. So can you charge it to throw, like, three or something as well? You can charge it to the ultimate, yes. And he just throws, like, a big bunch. It's like... Ah, right, yeah. Just... Ta-ting! Just throws, like, a bunch, and he hits every enemy with one. But it does use multiple. Yeah, it uses, so it's like, only three, you sure can see. So I don't even know if you could use it again. And it's one... I'm a player, I'm not sure if you're similar, but... Um, if an item has a limited number of uses in battle, I refuse to use it. Because if I can't rely on it all the time, why would I ever incorporate it as part of my main moveset? Yeah, I never like learn to put it as part of my like normal tr um, strategy. Like so, obviously, if it's like a special room like this where you're like, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll I know, get, and some. I know just outside this room there's free ones. But when it's like, oh, well, I don't know when I'm getting, gonna get them again. It's like, oh, I just never use them. <laughs> There we go. So I think yeah, I've got them down to like last couple. An item and like I guess like resource holder in games. It's like um I've been playing like a lot of Animal Crossing recently. Oh, you're I'm, not telling me you're like, hoarding shit in Animal Crossing, are you? What? Are you hoarding stuff in Animal Crossing? Well, no. I was more gonna say like obviously you start out and the point is like you need to earn money, but I've been like using a lot of my friends to get good like you know stock the turnips. Market, turnip prices. And I'm sitting on like 10 million plus bells, but I still like, oh shit, I feel a bit uncomfortable going down to like 8 million. <laughs> and it's like, then you everything got me. in the game costs like a few thousand bells. Like one thing I'll say about these things though is they're fun. They go on just a little bit too long. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's like, I totally get that thing of like, oh, even though I've got more money than I'll ever need, I still get a bit worried when it goes down a bit. Man, alright Jeff Bezos, calm down. 
I love that every time I make fun of him in a video, we always get someone um, uh, like try to defend him. Well, it's the classic right now of like the um, Elon Musk defenders. Yeah. Oh, that, I love that image. I'll try if I remember while I'm editing this video to put it in. The great image of Apu jumping in front of the bullet, and it always has the edit of Elon Musk as the guy getting shot. Yeah. And like, Apu was just the the bullet is just um, valid criticism, and then Apu's just got weird nerds right over it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of weird nerds literally taking the bullet for Elon Musk, like this multi-billionaire. My favourite thing that Elon Musk ever did is when he got criticised once, he got so mad that he changed his um, Twitter profile to go black, a uh, black um, profile picture, and just posted a really emo status of like, oh, no one listens to me. <laughs> so you own a fucking company and you're a billionaire, deal with it. Yeah. That, and the thing is, like, yeah, right now, the shit that he's saying is completely valid criticism. <laughs> So I got them all. Perfect. But you could probably agree with me there. They go on just a little bit too long. They do, yeah. Like That went on like twice as long as I would have hoped it to. But they did give me a Talisman of Rebirth, which is a super fucking good item. Uh, basically, it brings you back to life once. I'm going to equip it because the level boss we're going to fight is pretty tough. He has a lot of instant... Wait, you have to equip it? Yes, because otherwise if it got used during a fight that he didn't want to use it... Okay. Does this fully restore my health? Oh, it gives me full health when I leave the room. Perfect. I was hoping it'd do that. Cause uh, dead body. Yeah, some shurikens. Yep. Fully those up. So save it. Get my what shurikens. The... Why did you go back to heal on that one? Just so it saves. Oh, it's a save point. Okay. Examine the Xbox, just you know, for Xbox. <laughs> Phil Spencer's get... like got you back. Yeah. Look at that. I love that. A save point immediately get go around a corner what do i get hit by oh people fire it's arrows it, like it's a blind corner and there's two people already ready to kill you like just ready aiming at you as you come round. welcome to dark souls baby it's a lot like of people they've already got the arrows fully charged waiting yeah people still waiting people still defend dark souls all of it so you just need to get good it's like well how do you defend how fucking shit the combat feels yeah or my other one, which is, oh man, there's so many moves in Bloodborne, and then every single fucking playthrough of Bloodborne just some shows you people doing the R1 strike over and over again on every enemy. Oh, like the parry thing? Because, no, it's just the fastest attack is always the only thing you can ever pull off, because if you try oh, and okay. do any of the cool moves, you get hit. Yeah, I do find it funny, like, oh, there's, there's so many, like, choices and different ways to build your loadouts and stuff. It's like, and everyone yeah, just... what, does everyone just use one optimal output, like, yeah. out, um, like setup? And it's almost like, yeah. every weapon in the game is useless, except for like five. Every single person just agrees that this one thing is the thing to do. So it's coming great. in, go on with you. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh no. Is that when you go to a Pokemon tournament? Oh man. Oh, so every single person here has got the same six Pokemon, great. How am I gonna get past? Oh, ninja. Oh, are you? I'm in. What's this? Give me. Oh, I'll fall on that. What a cock. Is that the one that just gives you Nimpo back? Yeah, I've already got Nimpo. Yeah, so you don't, can't even like use the and one. And Nimpo's not useful against the boss, so. No, you gotta go all the way around. Nah, fuck it. I always try to be a dick and do like the... You can do that every now and again. Oh, right? okay, yeah. Coming in. Can you imagine if you saw someone running like this? <laughs> it's just... Because it's quicker. Oh, God. Yeah, I was waiting. Dark Souls, baby. Uh, not today. Just, I'm seeing that, I'm like, not today. Let's go get, to, <laughs> let's just go get to the boss, shall we? Because this fight is designed to just take your items. Oh, uh, okay. They're not fun to fight, and they don't drop anything worthwhile. So, let's turn it into Dark Souls now and run past all the enemies. <laughs> That's my favourite thing about that game. All the people who defend it as being super good, when, like... Every single so, oh, I can't get past this area. Run, run through. Yeah. Because it just they keep summoning this bullshit above you. So come on. So let's get them all grouped up. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. I missed. As if I got one guy. Yeah, it missed. When it's fully upgraded, though, it's super good. Mhm. Mm Here we go. <laughs> Oh, of course, there's just more people in it. Yeah, of course, as well. Waiting, is, waiting inside with an explosive shuriken. Yeah. Oh, what, what a pro. Yeah, that was awesome. Just like, no. Just point blank arrow deflected. Point blank flaming arrow as well. Huh? Like, Ryu, what about that? 
So, people, same thing again, people are wondering. I'm not running past the enemies, I'm just luring them all into a specific area. Because I don't want to fight them outside. I'd rather fight 50 enemies in a small enclosed area at once than fight five enemies outside where something can fire a fireball at me. Yeah, Cause yeah. Because the fireball will hit me more than these things will. Because I can just do this. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Then I can just start thinning the ranks on my own. I've got to respect a man that will just jump into the middle of that oh. crowd. That, they've just shown me the solution as well. Mm -hmm. oh. Gimme, 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 gimme. My head. Yeah. That's Ooh. just not me. Yeah, this one last guy. Oh, do you want my favourite bit about that one as well? Caught. You saw me do a combo that he just went through. Yeah. Like I was swinging my sword and you saw him go through it. Yeah. I mean, reusing. What a boss. Oh, God. Yeah, Ninja Kaiden. <laughs> Why would you ever expect to have any sort of mercy? I don't know. Man, I missed that guy who glitched out and had big hands. Oh yeah, I remember that one. No, he was my favourite. I was like, what is doing. this new enemy type? This looks interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh God damn it, I was not expecting to see him. And also, yeah, there's enemies above you that you can't see yeah, throwing shurikens at you. Just throwing more bullshit your way. Lucas, why would there not be? Like, after all this, Lucas, did you not expect to see enemies just throwing shurikens at me out of nowhere? <laughs> Alright, who wants some? Anyone in? Really? No one wants a piece? There's not a secret out there? I think it might be. I was double checking which is the correct way. Yeah. You always have to see which way is the correct way. Okay, let's go out here and fight Why some does every game not have the dead space? Uh, the dead space is too good. It's too powerful. I've just like clicked the right stick, it'll show you the exact what, path What's the correct go. way to go? So that you can go and explore all the side rooms. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I can upgrade so another I weapon. I hate now. it when you... Um... Any weapon you want me to upgrade? Uh, you can get I would one to level say two. just get level 3 scythe just for the bosses. Oh no, it's fine. Level 2 is enough to beat bosses with the special move. It doesn't power up the special move like range or anything. Okay. Uh, then power up the... Um... The, like, our regular katana, the dragon sword. Uh, yeah, sure, that's always useful. And then I'll buy some healing items with the rest. Ting! Because this boss that's um, coming up, you can't really do that tactic against him. Oh, okay. So yeah, I do hate games that don't tell you the right way to go. Because then when, you, when you think you're going down the side route, it, like, cuts you into a cutscene. We had a literal example go. of that earlier. Huh? Well, I thought I was going the opposite way to get the healing item. That was presumably at the end. And oh, then yeah, the, yeah. the cutscene started and killed, like, and the enemy got a free hit. Yep. Yeah. I hate it when games do that, like, oh, I'm just going to go explore and try and find the secret items. Oh, cutscene, you can't go back. It's like, I, God, fucking, I fucking love this animation. Oh, my God. It's so awesome. Like, he didn't even have space to jump from one side to the other, but he still managed it. That's why he's fucking awesome. That's why he's Ryu Hayabusa. Yeah, man. Also, we've upgraded the, uh, the Dragon Sword, which means... It now has the Izuna drop. Oh. So that's just some history about the guy I'm about to go fight, um, Alexi the Greater Fiend. So is now we the, have it, Lucas. Um, the move. Oh, yeah. The move. He's this little weird guy that was just stood on top, like, yeah. the Statue of Liberty with this weird like, e lightning energy. Yeah, the Lord of Lightning. Um, he's not oh, okay. fun to fight, as you might expect. Because what does lightning do, Lucas? It moves very, very fast. And normally stuns you. Of course. Also, no save point, because fuck me. Oh. Is it not auto-save, though? It will before the bottle, yeah. Before the battle. Yeah. Uh, this Devil May Cry fight, like, enemy. He is a Devil May Cry enemy. Do you know what he is? He's a Devil May Cry base enemy. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'd be like an, uh, one of the Angelos. Where he'd be yeah, a like, slightly better like, version of a different enemy. Like, he's the upgraded version. Or he's like the mini-boss that then becomes a standard enemy. Uh, Design-wise, I think he's probably the weakest of the Great Fiends. Mm -hmm. Volf is by far the standout. Because his design was... It's the only thing to survive the original concept for the game. Which uh -huh. was less about magic and more about military. Mm -hmm. And it was Ryu going through a, a military base and fighting experiments. One of which was a four-armed wolf. Okay, so he starts with a completely unblockable attack <laughs> that goes across the screen. But... This guy doesn't get hit by the um, Eclipse Sight, he flies, but he does get hit by 
the Dragon Sword's Flying Swallow Attack, which now, thanks to the upgrade, hits twice. <laughs> so we can you can beat him by just doing this. It's a completely invincible attack that hits twice and does about 10% damage. So thank you, Lucas. I was really hoping you'd pick this one. <laughs> because it's what you need. Because yeah. look at this. And when you upgrade it till it's third form, you can do it three times. Oh my god. And when you get upgraded to its final form, you can do it four times. And to clarify for anyone watching, I did not know this. Yeah. Oh god, here's the grab. Oh Yeah, I'll take 20% damage. Yeah. Lucas, dodge lightning. Yeah. Dodge lightning. Oh no. No. The worst bit is well, you the can only dodge. Shit begins. You can never dodge twice in a row. It's okay though, because I've got the dragon drop. Yeah! I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. Oh, come on, Carl. Nimpo through it. It won't hurt him, but my invincibility frames will uh, carry me through. It fuck! Yeah. Oh, no. It's oh. cool, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I want to I want to try and save the talisman if at all possible. Yeah. Here we go. Use the combo. Oh, come on, Carl. Let one more dragon swallow. There we go. Whatever it's called. Uh, flying Swallow. Flying so Swallow. No, notice how I beat a literal Elder Fiend, one of the greatest enemies in the game. Easier than I beat a train. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you're not using the Eclipse Scythe, the Flying Swallow generally beats most enemies. Just because yeah. it's just ting, 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 ting. So can you imagine that when it's leveled up and it does twice as much damage and you're doing it three times? Oh, shit. So you're completely invincible for about five seconds, during which time you hit the enemy three times. Yeah. Bye. I'm not going to stay behind and make sure he's Look dead. Look how many rockets are on that helicopter. I think it's implied, though, he takes you to a separate dimension to fight. Yeah. So I'm guessing I got a Master Ninja rank for that, because I fucking flew, flew <laughs> through that level. Like, Alexi Dominated. did not stand a fucking chance. Master Ninja, fuck it too, right? There we go. You've got Master Ninja on every... Level, haven't you? Uh, yeah. It's because I'm going through them so quick, even though I'm dino load. I'm also, yeah. as well, using really um, a lot of ultimate attacks. Right. 